grateful. If there's one thing that you and I need to catch and release this Christmas, it's a grateful heart. Catch it in our spirit and release it in our mouth. A grateful heart feeds your faith. A grateful heart fills your mouth with praise. We have 10,000 reasons to be grateful today. For God is not just a promise keeper. He is a promise fulfiller. Like Joseph and Mary, their lives were radically changed when they encountered what I call a divine interruption. An angel of the Lord told them, Hey guys, your personal plans have been changed. God has something bigger that you could ever imagine in your life. God is fulfilling His promise through you. Luke 1, 37 and 38 says, For the word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And the angel of the Lord left her. Her heart was grateful that her mouth burst forth with praise and thanksgiving to the God who has been so faithful in His promises. Like the wise men from the East who spent their entire lives searching and seeking the Messiah. A star guided them and when they saw Him, they were filled with grateful hearts, offered their gifts and worshiped before the Messiah, the Savior, whose name is Jesus. Like the shepherds on the field, just living a monotonous, ordinary lives, suddenly an angel appeared and the glory of the Lord surrounded them. And the angel said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy to all the people. The Savior, the Messiah, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. An ordinary night. Ordinary people doing ordinary work. Suddenly, something extraordinary happened to them. They saw and experienced God's promise fulfilled and filled with grateful hearts. Their faith became alive and they glorified God and praised Him. Like the prophet Simeon, who had been patiently waiting and waiting and waiting for the promised Messiah. And in God's perfect timing, he saw and held in his arms the child Jesus and began to praise God. Truly, God is not just a promise keeper. He is a promise fulfiller. A grateful heart feeds your faith. A grateful heart fills your mouth with praise. Is there someone here today who is willing, like Mary, to allow divine interruptions in your life for God to fulfill a bigger purpose in your life? Like the shepherds, have you been living a boring, monotonous, ordinary life? Are you ready to be surprised by God with the extraordinary? Have you been seeking and searching all these years only to find a dead end? Like the wise men, don't stop seeking. For the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verses 11, to 13, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you, says the Lord. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Have you been waiting and waiting and waiting as if nothing is happening, that you are at the point of giving up? Like Simeon the prophet, wait patiently with great expectancy, for in God's perfect timing, He will surely fulfill His promise. My friends, the point of your breakthrough, 
your deliverance, your miracle, your salvation, your provision always leads you to one person and that person is Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah, the ultimate fulfillment of all God's promises. Would you come and see and experience the Savior, Emmanuel, God with us? Let us come to Him with grateful hearts. Let's pray. Father, today I pray that you fill us with grateful hearts. Feed our faith. Feed our mouths with praise. Fill every home with your grace. Fill every home with your glory. Fill every home with joy, unspeakable joy. Fill every home with your peace that pass at all understanding. To those who are disappointed with their personal plans, Father, I pray that they may understand that you are about to fulfill your bigger and better purpose in their lives. Let them understand that, Lord, your plans are better than their personal plans. Father, speak to them right now. Lord, to those who think that, Lord, they feel that they're just living an ordinary life, I pray that today, Lord, surprise them with the miracle. Surprise them with the extraordinary, Lord. That their lives are meant to experience the awesomeness of God in their lives. To those who have been seeking and searching all these years, only to be disappointed with nothing. Lord, I pray that today they may experience that Jesus Christ is the only one that could satisfy the deepest longing in their hearts. Let them experience Jesus today in all His fullness. And to those who have been waiting and waiting and waiting all these years, Lord, assure them that you are a God of perfect timing, that in your perfect timing, you will fulfill your purpose in their lives. You are a God of timing. Thank you, Father. And to those who are broken and lost. I pray, Lord, that they will encounter Jesus, the Savior, the Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us. Would you pray this prayer with me? If you want to come home, to come and see the Savior, that is born today in the city of David, Bethlehem. Would you invite him in your heart today and pray this prayer with me? Say, Dear Lord Jesus, today I come to you broken and lost. Jesus, I open my heart and receive you as my Savior and my Lord. Forgive me, cleanse me, and change me today. I receive the gift of eternal life today. And right now, by your grace and by faith, I know I am saved, I am justified, and I have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. From this day forward, I will love you, I will honor you, and I will follow you. And today, I say, I am deeply grateful. Thank you, Father. In your name I pray. Amen and amen. 
and we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that. Hallelujah, praise God. The Bible says, if you just pray that prayer with faith in your heart, the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is now a new creation. The old life has gone and the new life has begun. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.